Hello everyone, today's video is going to be short and to the point. We're going to be setting up animations in Foundry so that whenever we cast a spell or make an attack, if there is an animation that corresponds to that spell or attack, it is used at the appropriate time. This is a complete list of all the modules I'll be using today, the most important of which are automated animations and its dependencies and JB2A Patreon Complete Collection. You could also use the free collection of animations just the same. With those modules and their dependencies in place, we'll go ahead and get started right away. Next, we're going to go to Configure Settings, Module Settings, Automated Animations, Configure Automatic Recognition, and now we have the long list of all of the attacks and spells and the animations that are going to match them. Now yours will not look like this because I've already programmed it in, you could do it yourself and program each individual attack or spell, but you don't need to do that because the community has done a lot of the work for you. Let's take a look at where you can find that. So I've opened up the JB2A Discord. I've gone to Automated Animations and then the Text Channel AA Auto Rec Sharing. Here you want to choose one of the collections that have already been created. Personally, I am using the D&D 5e Ultimate Plus and you just need to download the .json over here and then we'll go to the next step. I'll include a link down below in the description to their Discord. And then once again, back in Foundry, go to Configure Automatic Recognition, go to the bottom, overwrite slash merge menu. You can choose the file that you downloaded off the JP2A Discord and choose whether you want to combine it with your existing animations list or overwrite it completely. After you're done, try refreshing your game because it might not update the list right away. We can see now that the animation is going to play when I make an attack. So I come into the dagger, it misses, but the attack still plays. However, you probably don't want to have the same animation for all the attacks on all of your characters. You want to probably customize it a little bit, and that is very easy to do. Today we're going to customize the rapier by going into our character sheet, edit the item, go to AA at the top, and if it is already in the long list, you'll see Rapier, or whatever the item is, is configured in the global settings. However, we want to override automatic settings. Now we have the option here to choose between the various animations, whatever is available to us. If you are not using the Patreon collection, you'll have fewer options to choose from, of course. I will choose this one right here and just hit submit. And here is our updated animation. Coming in for an attack, it is a critical hit, and we can see that bright pink fiery animation. Another thing you might want to do is customize the animation for ammunition on your character, so you can create special effects for fire arrows or poison arrows. Let's take a look at setting that up right now. We're going to go again into our character sheet, go to inventory, we're going to go to whatever our ranged weapon is first and edit that. Same thing at the top, automated animations. And we want to select animate from ammunition and submit. That's all we need to do for our ranged weapon. You may have noticed that my character sheet changed. I'm now using the tidy 5e sheet. The main reason is because it allows me to easily swap between ammunition. So I've created fire arrows and poison arrows. Let's go ahead and take a look at the fire arrows. So edit item, automated animations, and we're going to select weapon, arrow. You can decide what you want here and the color and submit. You can even add an explosion if you want. And you're pretty much done. So now when you select fire arrows and we go back and we make an attack with those fire arrows, we are going to see the animation come up. Same thing if I were to select my poison arrows, I've already set up an animation for that as well. So overall, just an easy and neat way to differentiate attacks in your game, especially if you're using special arrows or different types of ammunition. Finish up today's video with how you can add in extra effects on top of the already existing animation. So again, we're gonna to go to the rapier, go to edit, automated animations, extra effects 
I'm going to add in an extra animation onto the source. The source is where the animation is coming from. In this case, the caster or character making the attack. We'll add in some particles right like this and hit submit. If we want to, we could also add in a sound there too. Submit. And let's take a look and see what that attack looks like. Coming in again with our rapier. So we have the stars going around a character and the bright pink fiery rapier right there. Well, that'll be it for today's video. Hopefully this has been helpful and will help make animations a little bit easier for you in your own game. Thanks everyone.